Hello and welcome to the uh, next part of our training on Savage Worlds Online using Fancy Grounds 2. Today I'll be focusing on the Combat Tracker. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open the Combat Tracker. To do that we go up to the Init button. As you can see when you hover over it the tooltip comes up as Combat Tracker. So we'll click on that and we'll open up the Combat Window. Now the combat window is designed to allow you to store multiple combat trackers. Rather than having to create each one on the fly, this allows you to create all your planned encounters in advance and then when the players uh, go off on a tangent you'll only have to create a combat tracker on the fly. But if they stick to your intended adventure route then uh, your life will be easy. So what we'll do is we'll click on the new button. Okay, so this is a blank combat tracker. Uh, ready to be populated. This is the GM's view of the combat tracker. The player version is slightly simpler. Okay, now the first thing we'll do is if we move this down here, we can see that in the combat window it's created a combat tracker entry called New Combat. This um, is, relates to the title up here. If we click up there and change the name to say First Combat, it updates the combat window as well, so later on, when you've got more than one entry in here, you can open up the combat tracker you want. Okay, so when the uh, combat tracker first opens, it creates an empty entry at the top of the screen. Now, normally I would just delete this and then populate it as normal, but if you're just going to manually enter an entry, you can fill it in. And for the purposes of going through with the various parts of this entry, it's absolutely fine. Okay, the first uh, icon is this little grey circle. Now, if you drag in an NPC where you've already assigned a token or a player, this would already show a token in there. So what I'll do is I'll just add one right now. Okay, and basically it's the placeholder and it's what you drag when you want to drag the uh, NPC onto a map. It will link back to this combat tracker so enable players to click on it, but more on that later. Okay, underneath the token is this letter V. Now this has more relevance on the player combat tracker and we'll come back to that a little later on. The tick. Now this tick uh, decides whether or not when you uh, are dealing out the initiative cards whether this uh, entry is given a card or not. If you remove the tick it and it doesn't already have a card when it's first created and in the first round of combat a card will not be dealt to it um, if they're surprised for example or later on if in the combat a player wants to go on hold or something and then unless they act again they won't get dealt a new card and they continue on their old card so all you would do is remove a tick if you want a card to be dealt to them just add a tick this is the placeholder for where the card will be dealt when combat's coming up name is obviously self-evident we'll come back on to uh, this little button in a little while this is the wound tracker um, obviously for extras fairly redundant and you can really go anywhere with the numbers but obviously for wild cards all you need to worry about is one, two, three wounds or minus one, two, three, whichever is your personal preference it's just obviously letting you track. Right, this icon here um, allows you to set how big an icon is on the grid um, easiest way is probably to example that so if I just bring up a blank drawing that's just got a bit of a grid on it and if I just drag the letter A on and skip slightly ahead to the hostile indicator and make this entry hostile which you can see at the moment with a, with a number one then this thing only takes up one square on the grid if I increase that to two it will take up two squares if I increase that to three it takes up three and so on and it's a, another way of showing how big a creature is there is another way to do it or well you could say it goes hand in hand with it is if you drag a token onto the grid all the tokens set to the same size relative I mean if you have a bigger token then it will entry on but if you're using the same size tokens for everything but you want to make it bigger if you use the mouse wheel you can enlarge the token uh, I'm not sure what the limit is um, it seems to go quite big these days it used to go up to about three they've obviously increased it okay so that's it. although the mouse wheel on the combat tracker sometimes can be fun so we will set that back to one and you can go the other way if you want to make something smaller Okay, uh, this icon here defines the reach. Um, if we drop that back down to one again, uh, if you hover when the GM hovers over a token, it shows you everyone that's in an adjacent square. So obviously, if you're a normal, ca if you're dealing in terms of melee, that shows everyone he could potentially attack. Or likewise, um, 
if someone moves out they get a, an extra attack against if we increase that to two what I like to think of as reach one now you can see obviously um, it extends an extra square again if you give move it on again it will show even more here we have the hostility indicator which um, is standard in the fantasy grounds uh, v20 rule set it just works the same way if you click on it it'll toggle between hostile friendly or neutral uh, the shield icon uh, if you click that it will keep the parry and toughness turned on the sword icon will show the pace the bennies and sh whether they're sh the entry is shaken or capacitated and then there's the uh, ability to monitor effects down the bottom we have the turn indicator to show whose turn it is, they move it down the combat tracker. The mini sheet again will come back onto this. Basically, it shows you the player's view of the combat tracker and is also used to that's what you share to the players so they can see the combat tracker. Obviously, the hostility icons, the round counter, and the next round button. And this concludes the first part of the combat tracker tutorial. In the next part, we'll go on to adding NPCs and player characters to the combat tracker, sharing it out and stepping through a round of combat.